Ubisoft shares major update on Assassin's Creed Mirage. The developer has announced that Assassin's Creed Mirage is officially coming to Steam on October 17th. The development came after Ubisoft announced that it would be launching its new releases back to Steam on day one. Billed as a love letter to the original Assassin's Creed, Mirage was released in October 2023 for consoles and PC via Epic Game Store and the Ubisoft Store before making its way to iPhone this June. Following Star Wars Outlaws' weaker than expected launch in August, Ubisoft recently delayed Assassin's Creed Shadows to February 2025. At the same time, Ubisoft said Assassin's Creed Shadows will mark the return of its new releases to Steam on day one. Accordingly, the publisher is now working on bringing older titles, such as Assassin's Creed Mirage, to Steam. Ubisoft shocked fans last month when it announced that it has delayed the upcoming title Assassin's Creed Shadows. The developer revealed its plans to release the game in February 2025 while it was initially scheduled for release on November 15th. In a statement on September 25th, the developer said that the weak performance for the new game, Star Wars Outlaws, and lower-than-expected profit in the most recent quarter were among the reasons behind the delay in the release date. While the game is feature-complete, the learnings from the Star Wars Outlaws release led us to provide additional time to further polish the title. This will enable the biggest entry in the franchise to fully deliver on its ambition, notably by fulfilling the promise of our dual protagonist adventure, with Neo and Yasuke bringing two very different gameplay styles, Ubisoft stated. Later, reports emerged that Tencent and the family of Ubisoft co-founder and CEO Eve Guillemot were exploring a buyout of the developer following the delay of Assassin's Creed Shadows. Reacting to the reports, the studio said, Ubisoft has noted recent press speculation regarding potential interests around the company. It regularly reviews all its strategic options in the interest of its stakeholders and will inform the market if and when appropriate. The company reiterates that management is currently focused on executing its strategy, centered on two core verticals, open-world adventures and GAAS native experiences.